Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Thursday, the 1st of September. Well, a quick recap. Well, disappointing day yesterday. 7-1 uh, to one winner, but um, only placed horse with it. Didn't make his money back. And then, un unfortunately, it was a losing day on the football. So, on to Thursday. So, some very interesting bets here. I'm, I'm not going to go too far into um, why I fancy them. But it's a 10 pence each way lucky 15 and a pound each way accumulator. The first selection is Bugle Major at 7 to 1 in the 150 at Salisbury, paying four places instead of three. This is written by Taylor Fisher, I'm really impressed with it at the moment. But also, it's the first run for Archie Watson. I think it came from Richard Hughes. Well, the horse has plummeted down the handicap. I personally believe it's been racing over too far. And I think this re um, reverting back to a mile, a stiff mile, should be, it, it could be what it needs. And I, I think it's very interesting the fact that. He's put it in an apprentice race, first time. It seems very interesting. So, um, yeah, that's the first selection. The second selection is C Speedwell at 5 to 1 in the 10 past 2 at Haydock, paying three places instead of three. I tipped this horse last time at Goodwood. Well, it finished sixth of seven, I think it was. Um, Tom Marquand reported that the, the horse didn't handle the track. Well, I thought it was well handicapped then, based on its previous run, where it got a racing post rate of 87. I still think it's very well handicapped. And I think this uh, running around Haydock, Haydock's a very simple course. Um, I think um, William Angus has got an half decent strike weight round there. And um, I think it's got a cracking chance. So the third selection, the third selection is Zen Master. At 33 to 1 in the 230 at Chester, uh, Chesterfield, <laughs> Sedgefield, paying three places instead of two. First of all, this extra place is very interesting. I think there's only seven runners. So straight away, we've got a massive chance. Well, this is the outside of a lot. But the next four in the betting, I've got huge question marks over it. It actually beat Zuckerberg over course and distance in the past. So I personally am ruling that one out. Um, there are like, um, There's so many question marks anyway. Um, will they stay the trip? Are, are they bang out form? Yeah, well, you can say that about Zen Master. But Zen Master can run okay after a break. It's got course and distance form. Obviously, with it having distance form, it stays a distance. The regular pilot is back on board. And as I said before, it can run well after a break. So I think at 33 to 1, with three places and only seven runners, could be interesting. It's been campaign over hurdles mainly this season, which is quite interesting. So um, not quite sure why that was. But um, yeah, I think it's got a cracking chance. Or I think it could defy its, um, its price, certainly. And the fourth and final selection is Capital Offence at 25 to 1 in the 240 at Haydock. Personally, I believe lower numbers are preferred here. All the fancied horses are drawn slightly high, or, or what, well, are drawn high. Um, not quite sure where they will run. Hopefully, yeah, it would be, they would stick to low numbers. But um, this horse was fancied on its debut and back right into favourite. And um, it was disappointing. It ran oh, nothing more than OK, really. Uh, with it having a half decent draw, um, there is a winner in the field. The problem is, though, he won on the all weather. So whether it can translate that back to the turf, I don't know. So hopefully, with that penalty, we can rule that one out. Um, I think this Edward Bethel horse is probably a lot. Well, it's got to be a lot better than it shown surely with it being backed into favour last time. So at twenty-five to one, it's not an extra place race, but I certainly think it, it, it can it can show more this time round. I certainly hope they're not now getting it ready for a nursery because obviously. If they do, it'll run down the field today. But I'm hoping it'll go on to ideally win the race. So I, I do think it's not a million miles behind the rest of them on form. It had a 58 um, racing post rating. It's not a million miles behind the fancied horses. Bearing in mind that I'm guessing that this horse um, underachieved on its debut. So uh, one to keep an eye on, but well, certainly four to keep an eye on. Um, the most interesting horse is the biggest price, Zen Master. If I had to say one that I fancied to win the most, it probably would be C Speedwell. And one of the more interesting ones is Bugle Major. Certainly because it's it's for it's it's now well, it's always been with a decent trainer, but the recent swap with the trainer, um, revert back in distance, it's dropped about twenty pounds in the ratings. So it's certainly an horse that is well handicapped. Is it gonna show it this time round? I hope so, but I don't know. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.